And we're back with episode 13. This is the part two of the commentary. Um, here we're going back into the ladies' room. Well, first we have to talk about <laughs> pie and... <laughs> yeah, there's pie in here, isn't there? Yeah, something about pie. And uh, Sam teasing Dean about his tempestuous lovemaking. And yeah, goofy, goofy times. Um, that door... I think there are actually about four or five different door sets I have, but um, that's... I'm trying to think of when that was used in. I don't remember, but the ladies was just taped onto the old door set. I reuse a lot of sets because you never, it's it's hard It's hard to draw new stuff every week. It, it, it ends up being more helpful to um, just reuse what we already have, what I already have. I'll stop saying we anytime now. Okay, there's the toilet. Do we all see the toilet? And the tissue box, of course. Once again, shout out to the tissue box, which we should be seeing in every single episode. Um, but... Honest Deceit sent me the toilet. I think that lamp that you see on the vanity also came from her. She sent a ton of food. Um, but the toilet was the main thing. She actually had emailed me and said, I have this toilet. What do you think you can do with it? I'm like, oh, what can I do with it? I can definitely think of something to do with it. Um, so we came up with this whole um, sewer idea. I keep saying we. I am sorry. It is just me. That shot right there was going to be an outtake, but I thought, ah, screw it. I'm putting it in. Um, because, come on, it's goofy. I don't, I, no, I don't know how they fit down the toilet, but just go with me, people, go with me. The flashlight, again, does not work. It's just, it, I put the lens flare in Photoshop. I really liked the sewer set. I thought the sewer set turned out pretty cool. Um, the pipes were just old um, paper towel rolls painted gray and, you know, taped some arrows and some, you know, labels on them. Um, threw some rocks down and boom, we were in the sewer. I thought it turned out, I was actually like, when I set this set up, I didn't want to take it down. Actually, not this part of the set. The next part was actually the part I was a little bit more excited about when we get to the brick wall. Um, right here, we're talking about, uh, or I make reference to um, the Drunken Sam letters that Eighth Horizon had written. I think there are four in the set. I think there are four. Um, that each each story is basically uh, Sam, a drunk Sam, writing a letter to Stephen King, bitching about Stephen King's books and how inaccurate they are. Now I'm a giant Stephen King fan, and I think you know I love his books, but I can see where you know professional ghost hunters might <laughs> take you know issue with some of the things that he has. So basically, I took her letters word for word. I asked permission first and asked if I could just, you know, plop this into this part right here because I wanted to make a little, you know, thing about, you know, they're in the sewers. I wanted to make something funny about clowns and, and sewers and whatnot, and I couldn't think of anything funnier than what she had already done. So I asked to borrow it. She said, of course I could, and that was awesome, and put it in here, and it, I mean, it works really well for something that Plastic Sam would say, so that's pretty awesome. Um, yeah, this is a set right here. I can go to a wide shot, and you can kind of see. Yeah, the skeleton, there's a lot of skeletons. I can't, some of the skeletons came from, um, Girly sent those in. Um, some of them I think I got from just the, ho not the Halloween store, but like the dollar store was selling Halloween stuff. Um, our two villains this week is, are the giant spider, which Reese brought down, like, forever ago and said, you should do an episode about a giant spider. I'm like, okay, <laughs> thanks for not giving me anything more than that, but whatever. That right there is Splinter. He was the, um, the wise master of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, but he's evil in this, because he doesn't like to be typecast. He likes to kind of stretch his wings and try different parts. Um... The lens flares got a little out of hand. I see in some of these shots, there are like blue and and orange flares everywhere. But that's okay. Um, that little part right there that we just went over, where they were trying to decide how to kill the monster, was clever because we hadn't burnt anything for a couple of weeks. And on the show, they like to burn stuff. So I'm like, we should get back to that burning. Right there is a mistake. If you look in the upper left hand corner, you can see my fingers holding onto the skeleton. <laughs> Whoopsie doodle. Um, and then I had photoshopped the other skeleton into lower the lower into that frame so you could actually see um <laughs> that uh i don't know it's it like there were two skeletons that was a big mistake because there were two skeletons in that frame anyway nobody called me on that one you guys were too nice i guess um sam tackling the um spider and getting you know and then you know dean just standing back going do you need help are you doing okay and sam's like no i'm good thanks we're, we're good and then you know the best kick ever he aims it so well and kicks Splinter off, and Dean just happens to be in the right place. This actually happens in a later episode, too, where Dean just happens to have his sword in the right place a lot of the time, and the villains just kind of impale themselves. Um, what can I say? He's that good of a hunter. 
Um, this was my blood, you can, or not my blood, but it, I photoshopped the blood, and you can always tell when I do it and when Reese does it, because hers always looks so much better. Mine just doesn't, I uh, don't know. And this, good lord, I meant it to be like spider webs, and this was the spider webs I had bought. It ended up looking like bubbles, and it just didn't have, it wasn't stretchy enough, it didn't look cobwebby, it just looked like stuffing or something equally as strange. So I ended up having to make the crack about, oh, it's a bubble mechanism. I, it's an evil monster in the sewer. We just have to roll with it. I like that shot right there because they look all verklempt and, you know, mussed up. And, <laughs> I'm sorry, bubbles. I don't know. Sometimes my brain just, I don't know what it's coming with. And then we set things on fire. That fire's not great. I'm looking at the top of it and yeah, there's some issues with it. But this was back in the day when I still... <laughs> I'm constant. There's a learning curve to this, definitely. Um, things get better and things get worse. So, it's just kind of how it goes. Um, there's actually a funny shot of that shot right there where the pipe the pipe above Sam's head got dislodged and it was actually was boinking him on the head. Um, <laughs> that was actually, I think, in the outtakes for this. And we're wrapping things up here. Um, the boys are going to be going to go get some pie. That's actually kind of a joke we, at the end of the episodes a lot, we, <laughs> I keep saying, we make me stop. <laughs> um, I make them often go to get like ice cream or things like that, just because sometimes it's kind of hard to end these. But anyway, Rock Music Plays, Plastic Winchesters, episode 13. That's another commentary in the can. Thanks for joining me. And I'll see you on the next one. Thanks very much. Bye.